Hi, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop, and we are on the lathe today. Um, I started this piece, and then now I remembered that I had the tripod so I could film it. So, customer came in. What this is, is a shaft goes in here. It's got two set screws. You can probably see that hole right there. There's one on the other side. This piece is going to slide into through a piece of plate and then it gets a collar on the back side and a shaft kind of goes in there and this just keeps the shaft into the shaft located. It's for some kind of farm harvesting implement. He, he didn't describe it real well, but. So our mission today is this is, let's see here. One inch, oh, roughly seven hundred and eight thousandths. He wants that inch and a half. And then from this face here, I'm going to run across it once and touch it up. He wants it an inch and three quarters back. So I'm going to have to cut away some of this and this. This is a off cut he had. He has a bunch of I've done work for him before. He has a pretty good scrap pile and uh, stuff from tearing apart machines. So this is the piece he brought me. So, um, so yeah, we'll get the sides two dimension, face it there, get the depth two dimension. Tolerance on this project is plus or minus five thousandths. And he's probably going to bring in the other plate part it's got some wear in it from, uh, I guess there's a guard underneath it and it traps water, so it's pitted on the bottom. So we might clean that up and put a bushing in it to match this. He's gonna, we're gonna get this done. And he's kind of going through the machine because it's the off season and uh, see how this looks once it's in there. So I'll get the lathe going and I'll bring you back. Okay, actually I misspoke in the last part. I'm gonna get the length set and then to the outside. Okay, so I'm going to cut a clean this guy up here. And then I'm going to measure off, get my indicator thing set up, and we'll cut this face down to inch and three quarter. So let's get the lathe fired up. Okay, all nice and clean. So now, take our measurement. We're at one point six three four. So, we have a hundred and, well, we'll take a hundred off to start with. We might stop. Try right, again. Just till it touches. Put my stop in place. I have a, I think I've showed it before. I have a homemade uh, 
depth stop I make, I made. So you loosen this screw, this tightens against this and locks everything in place. This just locks it down to the ways. This is very, it's been a very accurate thing for me. So that's how I do that. You guys back up here. touches back it off a hundred thou We'll go 110. Okay, move the carriage back. Lock it in place. Start the lathe. And we'll go to we uh, hit the stop. Come in a little bit. Make contact. Remember, we still got to clean up that face, so that's fine. To the stop. Turn off the lathe. Back that off. Get you guys back here just a bit. And see where we're sitting. We are sitting at. 1.742. So I'm going to go ahead and dial in 8 thou. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Lock it in. From here, turn on the lathe. See how we did. Get that bar lined up good. We hit under one point seven four nine. So I'm going to call that good because. When I cut the uh, this part down, you know, I'll stop a bit short. I'll do the last little touch up there on the edge. Okay, so now we are to length. So now we need to get to width. So I will get set up for that and bring you right back. Okay, so I'm going to leave my depth stop where it was because when I clean up this last edge, I'll do it by hand. 
So width wise, we are sitting at 169.4. It changes in a few spots here. So we'll start whittling that down. I'll use the uh, power feed for most of this. Come in here, touch off. Could have taken a bigger cut than that. That was a pretty, uh, pretty conservative cut. We'll speed up the uh, feed too on the, for the next cut. but yeah okay we're gonna speed up the uh, feed here and take a deeper cut 10 20 One thing I don't like about this tidal lathe is the cross feed uh, um, dial isn't super accurate on it because it's in millimeters. It's got two scales and it kind of catches up at the end, if that's the right way to put it. So we'll go with this. Chips are starting to come off a nice color too. Probably increase the feed rate again for the next cut.
Check that guy out. We are at take about forty three thousandths off there. Increase the speed. So, 10, take about 21 thou according to the dial. Ooh, that's why we don't trust the dial on the tidal wave. <laughs> okay. We are at 150.02, which will be good with that. Surface finish is good. I just want to double check that. cleaned it up a bit I just I locked down here that last pass at the end I just nudged it back so yeah there we go that piece is finished I will uh, change bits and you know chamfer it inside outside and that edge so yeah there was a quick little lathe job this is Adam from the small town machine shop please comment like and subscribe and thanks for watching